You're watching the Weekly 150. Everything you need to know about this week at the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office in 150 seconds or less. We started the week with our job of the week. We're looking for public safety telecommunicators. Our telecommunicators are responsible for dispatching emergency calls for service and providing information to law enforcement personnel in the field. Multitasking, time management, and organizational skills are a must. For requirements and more information, visit pcsweb.com careers. With both National Read a Book Day and National Literacy Day falling this week, we took the opportunity to highlight some of our efforts to promote literacy in the community. We proudly partner with the Early Learning Coalition to participate in the Officer Friendly Program that allows deputies to visit early learning centers, read a brand new book to the kids, and donate it for their future enjoyment. Speaking of book readings, did you know that we have an entire playlist on our YouTube channel of our members reading some of your favorite books? You can check it out at youtube.com slash Pinellas Sheriff. Yesterday, we threw it back with this photo of Sheriff Todd Tucker watching a polygraph machine demonstration. Back then, polygraph machines were still a new technology, and we've always liked to be on the cutting edge, even in the 40s and 50s. On Sunday, deputies from our SWAT team responded to an armed person call in Dunedin after 18-year-old Miles Abbott climbed onto the roof of a residence with a firearm and would not surrender. After nearly six hours, specialized equipment and beanbag rounds were used to force Abbott off the roof, and the SWAT team took him into custody. Abbott was taken to the Pinellas County Jail, and some of his charges include aggravated assault, felon in possession of a firearm, grand theft of a firearm, and a warrant for vehicular homicide. Have you or a loved one ever been asked to pay for something with a gift card? Well, don't. Detectives from our Economic Crimes Unit say that it is a scam. Scammers will pretend to be law enforcement, the government, a utility company, or even a relative, and will try to scare or pressure people into buying gift cards as a form of payment hang up the phone and report the call to law enforcement. Scammers tend to target our senior community, so please educate your family members on what to do. Remember, gift cards are for gifts, not payments. This week was National Suicide Prevention Week. Recognizing warning signs of mental illness is important, but can be difficult at times. Some warning signs include increased isolation, giving away belongings for no reason, changes in sleeping or eating habits, increased substance use, and significant mood fluctuations. Equally important is assisting that person through this trying time. This includes reaching out to resources available like the Suicide Prevention Line through 211, assistance through NAMI Pinellas County, and as always, emergency services by dialing 911. Don't have plans this weekend? Come see the PCSO take on Clearwater Largo PD for the 18th Annual Charity Softball Challenge at Baycare Park this Saturday. Tickets are $20 and include admission to the softball game at 3.30, followed by the Clearwater Thrashers game at 6.30, plus all you can eat and drink. Proceeds from the ticket sales will benefit the Magley family. On Monday, September 27th, join us for our 25th annual charity golf tournament at East Lake Woodlands Country Club. A round of golf, raffles, and more are all included in your registration, and proceeds from the event will benefit the Florida Sheriff's Youth Ranches. To learn more about the event or to register, visit pcsoweb.com forward slash charity golf tournament. Time's up. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Okay.